Hi, everyone, and welcome to the second Google Search News. I hope life is treating you well wherever you are. I'm your host today, John Mueller, here from Google Zurich in Switzerland. With this show, we want to give you a regular summary of what's been happening around Google Search, specifically for webmasters, publishers, and SEOs. If you'd like to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Today, we'll be covering some of the things that have happened since the previous episode. We'll take a look at a cool new WordPress plugin, webmaster conferences, updates in Search Console, and some other news. Recently, we launched SiteKit, a WordPress plugin that effortlessly connects your WordPress site or blog to a collection of Google services. SiteKit makes it a breeze to get your site verified in Search Console and hooks up other services like Google Analytics, AdSense, and PageSpeed Insights. With a quick look at the dashboard in your site's admin panel, you'll have an overview of how your website is doing overall and within Google Search. Curious to see what folks are searching for? Just want to see the overall traffic? SiteKit has something for almost everyone to help you easily grow your online presence. I'll add a link to the description if you're curious. The team working on Google Search Console has dropped some hot updates recently. They're always working on making it easier for folks like you to make great websites that work well in Google Search. The updates include a report for speed, as you might have heard in a previous video, speed is important, but understanding how it affects a website is really hard. We hope this report makes it a bit easier to find bottlenecks and to resolve them. Another neat change is that now the performance report has much fresher data. In some cases, the data we show is just six hours old. Fresher data is, or was, one of the most common wishes our users had, so we're happy that this is now live for you. And last but not least, we're now showing much more data about videos from your site when they're shown in Search. If you're keen on finding out more, check out our blog. We touched upon the Webmaster Conference series in the last episode, but I wanted to give you a brief update on what's been happening there. We recently had editions in Singapore, Bangkok, and Jakarta, as well as a unique one at the home of Google in Mountain View, California. In all of these locations, we had presentations from Googlers, some engineers, some product managers about features they're working on in Google Search. We have two more events lined up this year in Zurich, Switzerland, and in Tel Aviv, Israel. So see you there, perhaps. And if you couldn't make it, don't fret. We're planning on publishing talks from the Mountain View event soon. And looking into my crystal ball, it looks like we'll have more of these events next year. We have a few more short updates for you. Here on this YouTube channel, we recently launched a series for beginners all about Google Search. If you're just getting started or if you're in touch with folks who are, then make sure to check them out. These videos will be rolling out over the course of the next months with the goal of making it easier to understand how you can grow with Google Search. Then, the search results preview settings meta tags we talked about last time are now live. If you'd like to give us information on how much information a preview can show, then check out our documentation for how to get them set up. If you've added other meta tags before, then these new ones won't be that different. And finally, we recently announced that we won't be supporting Flash in indexing for Google Search anymore. Flash has brought us lots of cool things, from those early jump and run games to videos hosted on the web, and of course, those fancy interactive websites. For a long time now, all of that is available directly in HTML pages with a bit of JavaScript. Given that most browsers don't support Flash content anymore, it's time to say goodbye to Flash. Thanks for helping to make the web into a fantastic interactive world that it is now. Well, that's all for now, folks. Thank you for joining us. And now, on to the weather. Well, to be honest, I don't know what to say. Depending on where you are, I see a bit of wonderful sunshine mixed in with some rain, snow, and windy weather. In short, there's a bit of everything for everyone.